Just what were your feelings? Um, I did enjoy them and I was really pleased that I think that England finally turned a corner. It's been a long time coming. Um, my, my take on it was that I don't know what happened, but certainly we did towards the end of last season we had the France game or an Australia tour. I think we were playing quite a contrived style and uh, it didn't suit us. And I think that, you know, I think that the guys got a lot of criticism. Well, you get, tend to get criticism when it's due, you should also get applauded when it's due. And these guys, through John the coaches and, and the players, they seem to be aligned and the environment, just, you get the impression the environment seems to be right. Maybe one can look at the young guys coming through, which I think have made a difference. I think that the laws inevitably have made a difference. But fundamentally, you've just got the environment right. And uh, that is, is palpable, and you see the guys enjoying what they're doing. Now, the last game against the last game against um, South Africa was a bit of a kick up, kick up the backside. But I think that would work well for us because I think the guys will continue to work as hard from last summer as they have now on because they realise they're not quite there yet. And to compete against the against the best teams in the world, we need to develop this all court game. And we saw the the running game. We saw. Uh, yeah, the mindset of just taking the game to these teams mm. and, and you can actually live with the best in the world. And against South Africa, I think we got outpowered a little bit. It's, develop, it's learning to have that all-round ability, winning tight, closing out games when it's needed, but also you know, playing the wide, wide fancy stuff when it's needed as well. And, and I think that it was a massive step forward for the English game. Josh, how do you uh, rate the current England back three, both sort of individually and, and as a unit? Well, listen, I've, I've said before that, you know, there's a lot of people talking about Ashton and Ben and Quates. And, um, I've said before, the way the back three play is indicative of how the rest of the team are playing. So if the team are not creating a lot of opportunities, back three only get two, three times in games get involved when they get involved. And most of those are from opposition kicks. You know, the fact that everyone's talking about Ben Foden and Chris Ashton and Quates and some of the other guys and Hugo Moni is injured and you still got people like Strecker and Sachs in the wings as well. You know, say it says to me, hey, you've got a lot of strength and depth there. You've always had the quality. There's, those kind of qualities never been in doubt. They're not just solely better players overnight. It's the fact that the whole environment is working well together and the team are creating opportunities. Inevitably, when that happens, these guys end up running in tries. And... Uh, and, yeah, getting the ball in the hand, and the more times you get the ball in the hand, the more your confidence get up, it gets up, and and you end up playing well as a result of it. And I think that the state of the English back three is in very good state of health as, as a result of that, rather than just the, just the individuals who are there. Um, you you came into a, an England side or back into an England side. I don't know about sort of nine ten months out from a World Cup. Um, knowing the time scale, how much do you think England can? improve over the next eight, nine months going into I mean, I think I don't know what they were sort of last year. There were some sort of languishing six, seven, eight place. I and mean, if you've asked me that question twelve months ago, I'd be a bit worried about it. The reality is a week in politics and sport is a long time. Yeah, and we saw in two thousand and seven the turnaround you can make if you just get it right and you actually have a, the correct mindset taken in your position. That mindset change has occurred. As I said, you're languishing six, seven, or eight. What, what have you got to lose when you're playing the best team in the world? You're going out and taking the game to playing high intensity, running hard, and actually you'll create have it. all you need is a basic structure, a basic pattern, which is a fairly simple game. And, and, and anything can happen. And you know, do I think that they'll win in, in 2011? Who knows? But I know for a fact if I was New Zealand, I'd be, I'd be looking over my shoulder because. You, know, you just get the feeling that the sleeping giant is starting to start to wake up.